So I got a care package in the mail from Lord Callum a couple weeks ago, and it's going to make some marked improvements to the DX Commander Expedition. Let's show you what I got. So in this box, uh, he sent me two boxes. We've got some glue-lined uh, heat shrink, some, some doingy, some stuff, but what we're getting at is these are the new spreader plates for the DX Commander. So the doingy goes in here, we're getting rid of the clips and everything. I'm gonna do a separate video on these, but uh, today I wanted to focus on something that is gonna be very helpful for me because I never do anything to secure my mast from collapsing and I pay the price for it. And we're talking about these guys right here. These are the new straps that you can get. So these are gonna clamp onto the mast and prevent it from uh, falling down, which happens to me every field day because I can't be bothered to do the proper thing and follow the instructions. But that's just the stubborn German in me and I pay the price. And the way these work, you've got this little screw thing here and you stick that in the hole until it clicks and you can see the clip comes out at the end there. So now you just have this tie and you just turn it and it cranks down and comes out the other end, okay? I'm just gonna wrap it around and there's kind of a slot underneath this little tongue here that you're gonna put the clamp and then you just kinda turn it and it starts wrenching it up and just have it, see this is the thinner part, this is the thicker, you want it on the thinner part. You don't wanna crush this part, you wanna just grab a hold of this part so it won't fall in or collapse on itself and then we're just gonna get it right on there as best we can next to it so it's kind of touching the next section down and once it kind of tightens a little bit give it another quarter turn or so and that is not coming out. Now I've got all eight of the clips on. I don't know if eight's gonna be enough, I'm sure he's tested this, but I'm going to Galveston Island this weekend and we'll be doing some poda on the beach. So that will be a good testament if the antenna falls down or not. And uh, I'll, I'll report back to Callum if, if I feel it needs more and I'm sure he'll adjust it accordingly. But for now we're gonna do the eight. And now I'm gonna cut just the remainder off of each of these. After you cut these, this gets very sharp, so just hit this with a lighter really quick and kind of melt it for a second and smooth out the edges. You can cut yourself real bad if you don't do that. And then I printed out numbers with my label maker and I'm gonna number these one through eight, one being the lowest, eight being up top. So that way when I put these back on, I always know that one's gonna be at the bottom because you only have to loosen these a little bit uh, to have them slide off. So now all we have to do is loosen up the clips a little bit when we're done, just enough so they can slide off. You don't have to completely undo them. Slide them off the mast and put them away wherever you keep them. Callum, I love these. I think these are a great improvement and I love that you keep innovating on your current products and you never stop, man. Nailed it out of the park, brother. Love it.